My son threw the mother of all tantrums yesterday. Hey, howdy, hey, Trainwreck. How are you today? I am the glorious Trainwreck mom. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard, Trainwreck. Glad to have you here. Today, we're going to talk about my son and his epic meltdown. I'm talking Chernobyl-esque meltdown. It was ridiculous. So we went to the park. We went to Cunningham Park, which is a big deal around here. Um, and I went with him and the bunny and her friend and the hey hey. Awesome. Life was good. Life was awesome. And then life wasn't. We had literally only been there for 30 minutes and my child was a complete puddle of snot and tears and <laughs> all over like for real and the reason is because I wouldn't let him go over to the big playground side of things now you're probably asking why okay so we were over there originally it is really tall and really crowded like yesterday was like 65 70 degrees it was one of the first warm weekends that we've had because it always got warm during the week and then sucked on the weekends so this was like you know a gift from the gods themselves saying have a weekend and everyone had the same brilliant idea we did let's go to the park so yeah we went to the park and i'm an idiot because we went to the park at 3.30 with a four-year-old who hadn't had a nap yet. You just might as well tattoo idiot across my head. I don't even know what I was thinking and why I thought this was a good idea. Maybe I was possessed. Maybe I went crazy. I don't know. But I thought, hey, this is good because I had told the girls, hey, it's gorgeous outside. Why don't you just go outside? And then they said, why don't we go to the park? I said, why don't we go to the park? <sighs> I'm an idiot. See, we went over to that big playground and he fell climbing one of the ladders. Now, I'm not a helicopter mom. I try not to be. I really try not to be because usually I'm like chill. But there were so many kids and he is so little and there were kids running all up and down no parental supervision there's parents in their phones there was one chick over here with her back to the slides reading there was an adult climbing the outside of the structure an adult i'm over here like what example are you setting are you king kong this is not new york that's not the empire state building get down for when these kids pushes you off because that's the kind of kids these were okay and here's my dear sweet little baby t-rex i love my baby t-rex so much i love him he's so sweet and he's so cute and he's just little okay seriously like he is straight up just hit 40 inches he can ride dinosaur now at disney world you know three months after we go to disney and i'm like oh my god he's so little and yeah he fell whether he lost his balance or whether someone pushed him mama bear was like Whoop! he fell holy crap okay i'm having a panic attack i look at the girls and like hey let's go over to the boom town boom town's a little bit littler it's still pretty awesome but not as hectic not as many people not as many kids not as many dangers and things and there's like soft squishy stuff he can fall on so yes i am i'm that mom i admit it i'm sorry i don't know how not to be that mom i try not to be that mom i try to be chill but he's so little and if he broke his arm at the playground i would feel terrible so yeah so he wanted to go back to the big kids and back to the big playground and while he's throwing this like ramping it up because right now we're not at that point yet we're not at the 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 <laughs> you know people calling a priest and give me holy water for this child yet no we're not there right now we're like i want to go i want to be there i want to go come on but i want to 
and I get that you want to, son, but I want to be able to take you home in one piece without, like, a cast or crutches or having to call your father from the hospital, okay? No. So I told him no. I told him no repeatedly. Because you? from where we were standing, we could hear one kid, one kid over the probably about 50 that were on just that particular playground, the 50, we could hear one screaming, running up the slides, swinging precariously from things, knocking people over. This child was insane. Seriously. I'm not about medicating kids. I'm not about the Ritlin life. Okay, but I really did think it might have been time for some Benadryl and duct tape at this moment. Because, oh my god, somebody needed to calm that child down quick. Okay, so yeah, so here he is, and his, he's just ramping it up and ramping up. And we're tr I'm trying everything. I'm like, let's go walk over the bridge. Let's go look at the pond. Let's go look at the fish. Oh, of course, there's no fish because it's still winter. Idiot. Then there was a doggy, and the doggy was really cute and a really good distraction. And I almost came home with a doggy, which would have been really bad because it was actually someone's doggy, even though there was no leash or collar or anything on the doggy. I almost came home with a doggy, which would have been bad. <laughs> so I was really, 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 really trying to temper out this, this because I could tell he was ramping. He was getting, but I don't want to go. And he's like creeping towards the playground and I'm following behind and that's when it happened. Stop following me! I don't want you! I don't want you! Me, mama! A? First of all, son, don't follow you? Oh, honey, on your first date, I'm gonna be the car behind you. Making sure everybody's hands and heads are in the right places. Don't play. Don't play. Uh-uh. No. Don't go any closer. Don't follow him. Don't go near him. I'm a mean mama. Oh, no. Child, no. I brought you to the playground. A mean mama would have told you, good luck, Skippy. You got to play, play set outside in the yard. No. No. Instead, I drove. I conquered social anxiety. Dealt with the throngs of human like ridiculous that was there and you're gonna sit there and tell me I'm a mean mama in front of people oh no oh no here I'm gonna show you what I had to deal with y'all watch this I'll wait there's bunny there's ocean but baby you were playing on the playground This is what I'm dealing with. See, the thing is, I don't negotiate with terrorists. And that's what my son turned into. It was his way or the highway. He had turned into a Sagittarius at that moment. And if you know a Sagittarius, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't play. My sister Hatfield is a Sagittarius. Guess what? It's her way or the highway. I love her, but it's true. He had turned into one of those kids. And this was not a Walmart fit. This was not the kind of fit that you see all the time on Facebook. No. This was not an off the rack fit. This was a custom fit. This was throwing himself on the ground, grabbing handfuls of grass, throwing them in a weird confusion Fetty type scenario, a celebration of his rage. Grass flying everywhere. At one point, a shoe came off, and I said, Uh uh. Oh no. Oh no, we are not doing this. Oh, hey. And the thing I did was take that child, threw him over my shoulder, called the girls, and we left. Because mama does not negotiate with terrorists. I said no. That side of the playground was way too dangerous for him. And that is not just being a helicopter. That is truth. He had already fallen. And like I said, I don't know if he had gotten pushed or if he slipped. 
but he just was not ready for it. And with that one child running around, like he ain't had no sense. He got 29 demons running through his head. I don't know what's going on, but that child had no sense. And neither did mine. Because at that mo moment, my child acted like he was possessed as well. And I picked him up over my shoulder and I carried him out of the playground. And I saw the looks. I heard the comments. And if you were there at Cunningham Park between 3.30 and 4 o'clock, I guarantee you saw me. It's not real hard to miss my daughter. She's the one with the pink hair. The only kid in the whole place who had pink hair. Okay? Was not real hard to miss. I heard the comments. And guess what? My parenting skill and style is not based off your opinion. A thank you. I do not base my own self-worth on the opinion of you. So if you were there and you were one of the people who were like, oh my God, what is wrong with that kid? Guess what was wrong with that kid? He hadn't had a nap yet and he was exhausted. Boom. He was a four-year-old who didn't get his way. Boom. You want some other truth nuggets? Kids throw tantrums. Oh. oh, are you one of those parents? whose little precious snowflake angel doesn't ever throw tantrums. I'm so proud of you, yay! Here's your gold star. As for the rest of us, we all know, kids throw tantrums. It's what they do. They don't have that ability yet to communicate in a healthy manner their anger and their rage and their frustration and their feelings. So it comes out in this blubbering, blubbering, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> on the park playground in the grass rolling down a hill almost to the culvert <laughs> in front of God and everyone and that's what I had to deal with it would have cost nobody anything to say do you need a little help nah I got this thanks appreciate it but instead y'all chose to judge me how's it make you feel you're probably not even watching this video because you're not my kind of people kind of people that I'm watching with, they're sitting there going, mm-hmm, you go, girl, you go. Because like I said, I slung that child up over my, my shoulder and I walked out to the car. We did not even stop at Walmart to get a drink. We drove straight home. And I will tell you, yes, it continued on through the night. This was a long battle that didn't end until almost 9.30 last night. So yeah, I'm tired, I'm cranky, but I'm keeping myself together. You know why? Because that's what adults do. Kids don't have that ability. It's our job to teach them that ability though. But if you've ever been in a Starbucks where someone didn't have their soy latte foam, you might see an adult throwing a tantrum, just like my son. So instead of judging me as a mom, maybe judge the fact that, you know, you could have been a little bit nicer, could have been a little bit more supportive of a mother and maybe reevaluate your own situation and how it's easier for you to, to judge and be mean than it is to offer some encouragement. And that's all I've got for today, Trainwrecks. Like I said, if this is your first time here, welcome aboard, Trainwreck. Glad to have you here. Go ahead and get your ticket punched by hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring my bell. Ring my bell. So you can see all the Trainwreck goodness on a regular basis. My books, Platitudes of Gratitude, and All Your Fault are available in ebook and paperback on Amazon. Mr. Christmas is coming May 1st. So yeah, I'm really excited by that. Um, still don't have a cover. Once I have a cover, we'll do a cover reveal. It'll be awesome. I'm excited. You can catch me on Facebook and Instagram as the Glorious Trainwreck Mom. You can catch my, uh, my podcast at Anchor FM. You can catch me on Hub Pages. I am working on my own website with my own blog and all that fun stuff. I'll put all the links to that below. And you can get merch now with like stuff that I say. Stuff like this, but this isn't my shirt. I can't wait to have my own shirt. I gotta wait for the mail though. But like I have my own shirts and coffee cups and, and wine cups and things. So yeah, you should check that out. I'm gonna throw that in the description below. That's all I've got for today, Trainwreck, so all aboard. <laughs>